All right, so here I am. I'm at Thompson, Maine, and I'm at the Hannaford location, and it has one of these EVGO systems. And I heard in PlugShare that they said that it was saying exactly what it says right here, system starting up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it says system starting up, and apparently it's been doing this for like seven days. So I'm going to see if there's anything I can do to figure it out, get it to work. And if not, well, I've got another place I can go to to charge up. But just the fact that this has been sitting here for seven days is kind of odd that nobody's come out to repair it. So, all right, let's see if I can make this thing work or not. All right, so being the uh, troubleshooter that I am, I simply came over here and I, this emergency stop thing, I just pushed that in and I kind of kept it there for a few seconds and then yeah I had to pull it back out and, and twist it but uh it's at the screen so maybe I just fixed it <laughs> that'd be so awesome if I did so let's see here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook up here okay so actually the only problem I'm finding right now is when I hit the Chadmio or either of them actually it doesn't matter but it's not uh, responding to touch so not sure if there's anything that you can do. Oh, wait, there we go. It just worked. Well, I don't know if it's because it's cold out or what, but there we go. It's working. <laughs> so let me uh, let me undo this here. Plug her in. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Hit start. There we go. It's working. So it's, it's fixed. <laughs> I will report this on PlugShare and I will give uh, EVGO a call and let them know that I got it to work. We'll wait for it to actually start here. <laughs> there we go. Yep, it's working. So a quick recap here, because I wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. I actually knew ahead of time that this station was down, because I had used the PlugShare app to check in on it. Now I don't normally check ahead of time to see if a station is up or not, but I do use the PlugShare app to look for new stations in areas I don't frequent often, so that I know what my options are. What made me check in on this particular station was we had just had a major power outage in the state back on Monday, right before Halloween. And although my area wasn't hit as hard, I knew that a lot of the surrounding towns were, so I thought I'd check in on PlugShare to see what the status was on the charging stations in the town I was going to visit. To my surprise, what I found had nothing to do with the storm that occurred on the 30th, as one user seen here reported having trouble with it on the 28th, and that's two days before the storm even hit. So being the adventurous guy that I am, I decided to take a drive out that way to check it out. I mean, I was heading out that way anyways, that's why I checked in to see if this particular station was up or not. But when I found out that other people were having issues with it, that sparked my curiosity, and I figured, what the heck? I'll either be able to figure it out, and then I can post about it like I'm doing right now, to give other EV drivers a heads up, or I'll be limping my way back home with 5 or 10 miles on the gasometer. After reviewing the video here, I'd like to point out a few things. When I got beyond the startup screen, it didn't appear to be responding to touch very well, or at least at first. Now that could have been because it was actually still starting up, but in the background, and I just had to be patient, but I seem to have had this problem before with other EVGOs, just not to this extent, where I was about to call customer service for assistance. The other thing I noticed, and you may have too, was that after I got it going again, it was making an awfully loud buzzing noise. Now this could have just been because it was cold outside, but to me it sounded like the transformer was maybe about to go. At any rate, I was able to charge my car, so kudos to me for getting it working again. I'm still going to let EVGO know about it, and I'll be sending them this link to the video so that they can see firsthand what myself and other users of this station have been going through. With any luck, it'll only help improve the network overall. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it educational, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Bill Hensley. We'll see you later.